with Max Bulla of Michigan State at training camp. And you know, talk a little bit about uh, you know, the defense this year, nine starters back. Uh, you think it, this defense has a chance maybe to be as good as last year's defense? Well, yeah, I think, you know, I think we absolutely have that opportunity. I think it's a, um, you know, I think it's a challenge coming off a successful season to put it all back together and put the pieces back together where they fit. And, you know, not only that, we need to understand where this defense started last year and what it took each week, week in and week out to get that good. So as long as we can, you know, we're in camp right now, come back and, and start that building that, you know, building that house one brick at a time, one week at a time, I think that we have a chance, you know, to be as good or better than we were last year. I saw our coordinator, Pat Narduzzi, called you maybe the smartest middle linebacker he's ever coached. What does that mean to you? Well, first of all, let me tell you, Boise State's definitely a test, you know, coming off the first, you know, the first week this year. So that's that's definitely putting that to the test. But, I mean, it's a compliment. I really appreciate, you know, a, a guy like him. I've seen so many players saying something like that, you know, whether it's true or not. I think it's, you know, it's just a testament to the, you know, the players they have recruited here, you know, being myself. And, and you know, the time and effort that we put into being the best we can be. And last year, Coach Nardese talked about 60 minutes of unnecessary roughness, sort of that attitude of the Michigan State defense. Kind of describe for me that attitude that you and the defense want to try to bring to the field on Saturdays. Well, I think when he originally said that, it was misconceived, unnecessary roughness. You know, we were talking about between the whistles, you know, a punishing, uh, devastating, relentless defense that never, you know, that's always up for the occasion. So, you know, that's a, that's just a mantra that we try to live by and try to be better each and every day. And, and you know, this year we think that, you know, we can be even better. Hey, talk to me a little bit about your linebacking cohorts. Um, starting on each side of you with, with Allen and Norman. Well, Chris Norman, obviously, you know, a tremendous athlete. He's been here starting, you know, or playing for four years, uh, played as a true freshman. So he's a very experienced player. You know, he's missed a few things from injuries, but he's a good player, you know, fast. Kind of, he plays out of the box quite a bit, so he's, you know, involved in the passing game a little more. That's why you might not, you know, see him having the huge numbers. Like a lot of people, you know, only look at those. And then uh, Danico Sound, you know, is an explosive player. Like a lot of people, you know, already know that we're able to do a lot of different things with him. You know, le leave him back in coverage, obviously blitz him a lot. That's what he was very good at last year and very productive. So, you know, having those two guys, you know, play next to you, it makes it easier. You know, having guys that can make plays and, and be explosive playmakers for us, it's really, you know, it makes my job a lot easier. And people always talk about the depth behind you guys being outstanding. I saw some of that today. Tell us a little bit about the, some, some of the young guys coming up behind you at linebacker. Well, yeah, obviously the, you know, the recruiting's been phenomenal the last few years, specifically the class right behind me. You know, there's what, three or four linebackers that ended up staying in the linebacking room. I think that's a, you know, that's a good thing for us because not only does it, you know, protect us if, if we get injured or, or whatnot, but it gives us competition each and every day. And I think, you know, that competition brings out the best in us. And even though we have returning starters coming back and playing, I think, you know, watching other guys do it and watching great players do it, that are going to be great for us in the future. It, it, it helps you to watch that on film. And then tell me a little bit about what it means to be a multi-generational Michigan State family with your grandfather, father, uncle, you're playing with your brother. I mean, Michigan State runs through your blood and sort of tell me what it means to be a Spartan in your family. Well, it's an honor, you know, to be part of something so big and so much bigger than myself with my grandparents, you know, my uncles, my dad. That's just something that means a lot to me and, and it's kind of me carrying the torch, mm -hmm. you know, passing the torch from my dad to me and now me to my younger brother. You know, it's not really a pressure I mean, I guess it is in a way, but it's not It's not a bad pressure. It's not stress. It's more of a, you know, something that I, I think is an advantage for me because I have people to talk to that have been through, you know, what I'm going through. And not only that, you know, there's someone there that, that can criticize me or help me in times of, you know, times of strain. Thanks a lot, Max. Thank you very much.